What up, peace, y'all? This is Nas. I'm Mark Sanchez. What's up? What's going on? This is Kobe Bryant, and you're watching JR Sports Brief. So look, folks, it's Fan Friday. It's all about you all in your comments. It's a JR Sport Brief throwback right in front of the Knicks banner. If you haven't subscribed to JR Sport Brief, go ahead and do that right now. I don't know what the hell your problem is. You need to do that at this moment. And I know a lot of people are going to ask me about the NFL draft. We're going to get to that in a moment. We're going to start off Fan Friday with this question from... Nikola Kuzeski, can the Blazers use home court against the Spurs to win a couple games? I think a couple of games or two games is really all they can go out there and take from the Spurs. Home court advantage, uh, playing in the park, playing in the street, playing in San Antonio. The Spurs just have too many bodies to throw out onto that floor. I never heard of Aaron Baines in my life, but he went out there and gave the Portland Trail Blazers problems. The Spurs just pick these guys up out of the garbage can and they go out there and perform. Uh, the Portland Trail Blazers, I know Damian Lillard, he has some big balls. He's hitting big shots. LaMarcus Aldridge, in my opinion, is still underrated and is probably the most skilled power forward in the NBA. I didn't necessarily say the best. I think he is the most skilled. Those two dudes will not be able to conquer what the Spurs throw out there. Uh, but Greg Popovich tells them they'll go out there and deliver some nasty. They're going home. Forget home court advantage. Matt Steinberg, any chance of the USA lifting the World Cup? Well, damn, Matt, I don't know if you're an optimist or what planet you live on, but when it comes to kicking a football, Americans suck. Uh, we could probably kick other people's asses when it comes to our football. We can tackle other people across the globe. But kicking, we are garbage. I don't expect the United States of America to even escape its group. And people are over here hitting me up while I'm trying to do uh, Fan Friday. We're going to ignore that person. Uh, go ahead and, and select a good country to win. Say Italy, Spain, uh, maybe France, Germany. Let's stick to good teams. Next up, King Cooper. Johnny Manziel to the Browns. Is it a good move? And the Cowboys passing on Manziel. Is that a bad one? Well, first of all, let me talk about the Cowboys. We all know about Tony Romo. The guy's coming off a of back injury. Uh, he's garbage sometimes. He's great at times. People can debate that for years. At the end of the day, he hasn't won a damn thing. And if Johnny Manziel would have went to the Cowboys, we would not have heard the last of it. It would have been on your damn TV and in your radios and anywhere you would have went, you would have heard about this damn guy. I'm ecstatic that he is not a member of the Cowboys. That's first of all. And Jerry Jones would have grabbed him and had no use for him. Next up, when it comes to him going to the Browns, can you get any worse than Brandon Whedon? The Browns have nowhere to go but up. I think Johnny Manziel will be a good quarterback. As long as Josh Gordon isn't passed out on lean somewhere, I think they will do a decent job. He's going to make mistakes. He's also going to excite. I'm excited to see what he does for the Browns. Uh, that franchise certainly needs it, as well as all Cleveland sports. This is JR. It's Fan Friday. It's all about you all in your comments. Have a great Mother's Day weekend, and make sure you subscribe. I'm all over the damn place. I want you to see it.